Did you know that there is a giant rodent called Capybara? That's right, like something out of the movie Enchantment, it has become one of the most beloved animals in the world. Do you know it? Let me tell you about this charismatic rodent, so stay until the end of the video. Let's start right after the opening theme. We have the opening theme, right? No? Okay, let's get started. So my old sports, this is EdDevelop, where you will find the best scientific and similar curiosities. Subscribe and activate the notification bell to enrich your day every time we upload a new video, and consider our Patreon. Find the link below in the description. Now, it is time for the fun parts. The capybara belongs to the cabbage family and is the largest rodent in the world. It can weigh up to 90 kilos, which is equivalent to one average adult. So imagine how big it can get, old sport. The funniest thing about this little animal is that, despite the serious look on its face, it inspires a lot of tenderness in people. This is probably due to its furry and friendly appearance. And this rodent has a great peculiarity. And it seems that we have found a possible explanation for the mystery of the capybara that always wants to carry other animals on its back. It turns out that this little furry one is very gentle and friendly, which makes it very different from other species of its size, which can be aggressive, dangerous, and noisy. What a good neighbor. Animals living near Hydrocaris Hydrocaris take advantage of its good nature and large size, riding on its back for a walk or just across a mirror of water without getting wet. It's like having a free taxi with swimming service included. In addition, this friendly animal has another ability that makes it even more valuable to the animals around it. It can swim very well. So if any of his animal friends need help crossing a body of water, the capybara is more than willing to lend a leg. Or rather, a back. If you want to get the gist of this animal that has become everyone's favorite, you'll have to keep watching, old sport. Here are some other curiosities about these animals accustomed to living in the water. Its body is completely adapted to the aquatic environment. These furry little guys live near rivers and wetlands, which means their bodies are perfectly adapted to swimming and enjoying the water. In fact, they depend on it for survival. So don't be surprised if you see a capybara happily swimming around. For starters, their feet are webbed, which means they have hind feet with an interdigital membrane that helps them swim with ease, as if they had flippers on their feet. They also have a thick, water-resistant coat that helps them maintain their body temperature and move through the water with ease. How handy! But that's not all, old sports. The placement of their eyes, high on their heads, is a great help in moving through the water, as they can see and even breathe comfortably while swimming. It's like wearing goggles and breathing through a straw at the same time. So, if you ever go for a walk in a river or a wetland and see a capybara swimming, remember that you are looking at an expert aquatic swimmer. And there you have it, the capybara is an animal that lives to swim, with webbed feet, waterproof fur, eyes on top of its head, and a love of aquatic life. Its sharp incisors are constantly growing. This beloved little creature is primarily a vegetarian, yes sir. They feed on herbs and aquatic plants, making them true experts in the art of healthy eating. Healthy food, happy food. From time to time, however, capybaras also enjoy a few treats, such as bark and fruit. And who doesn't? But here's an important caveat. They have prominent, sharp teeth that can cause damage if they feel threatened. So best not to mess with them during their lunch break. Watch out, my old sport. Finally, a curious thing about their teeth, their incisors do not stop growing, like those of many rodents. But over the course of their lives, they naturally wear down. So friends, don't worry about your favorite capybaras losing their teeth. They know how to take good care of them. Hey, wait! Now's the time! Subscribe to the channel to be entertained while learning. It's free! They have a waterproof coat. These beauties have sebaceous glands that produce an oily substance that has several uses. For one, it helps them mark their territory. How important personal space is. But also, and this is key, it helps them repel water like a repelling magnet. But that's not all. Capybara's fur is dense and thick, allowing them to keep their skin dry even when submerged in water. Perfect armor for aquatic adventurers. They eat their own excrement. Yes, you understood well. Capybaras are capable of eating their own feces, a biological process known as coprophagy. 
But don't worry, they don't do this very often. In fact, they only eat the first feces they defecate, which is softer and contains special bacteria in their digestive system that help them extract more nutrients from the food they eat. In this way, these resourceful rodents can get the most nutrients from their cellulose-rich diet and stay healthy. So the next time you see a capybara doing this, don't judge. Breeding in water Capybaras are all about aquatic love. To mates, the male chases the female until he wins her over with his charm, swimming alongside her for hours. And although the act itself only lasts a few seconds, the conquest is a process that can last longer than a human argument. After falling in love, the female gestates her young for five months and gives birth in the water so that they do not suffer the trauma of childbirth. At first, the babies are like little furry balls and require a lot of attention and care. Fortunately, the herd is responsible for protecting and feeding them, both the mothers and the aunts and grandmothers of the capybaras. So if you ever meet a capybara, don't hesitate to tell them congratulations for being such loving and good mothers. And if they smile at you with their serious but tender gesture, don't hesitate to take a picture with them as a souvenir. They are sociable and gregarious animals. Capybaras are like an extended family. They love to socialize and live with other capybaras. Although they usually gather in groups of about 10 capybaras, during the dry season they can form real mega-families of up to 100 members. They are animals that prefer the light of dusk and dawn to carry out their activities, but if they sense danger, they will not hesitate to stay awake all night. Safety first! They produce a wide variety of vocalizations. Capybaras are very communicative animals and love to talk to each other. In fact, they seem to be in a constant state of chatter. Although we don't know exactly why they do this, it seems to be especially popular with the younger ones. Sometimes their language can be confused with that of domestic animals, such as dogs. For example, some capybaras emit a high-pitched bark to warn of possible danger. They may be discussing the best place to take a bath or find something tasty to eat. Who knows? However, we all agree that capybaras that make any sound at all are the most adorable. Don't you think, my old sport? They are guided by smell. It seems the capybaras are very good in the world of perfume. These rodents use their sense of smell for just about everything. Males, for example, have a kind of magic nose that secretes a scented substance that helps them establish their status in the community. Females also emit a number of unique chemicals that allow them to identify their mates and signal their territory. So, if you've ever come across a capybara, pay attention to its scent. Have you ever thought about having a capybara as a pet? These cute animals will keep us entertained for many years to come. Have you seen one in person? Tell us what they look like. That's all for today. My old sports, don't forget to like and share. See you in the next video.